Hello everyone, welcome back to Miss Lazar is Bizarre. And we're at chapter 9, Sad, Depressed Mr. Klutz. We were in the vomitorium eating lunch the next day. I gave Michael my tuna sandwich and Ryan gave me his cookies. I told Ryan that he might want to eat a few napkins for dessert because he likes eating paper so much. He said I should shut up. Me and Michael and Ryan promised we wouldn't tell anyone about Miss Lazar's weird toilet bowl plunger museum. If she found out what that we knew, she would know that we snuck into her secret room. I looked over at the next table where Andrea and her annoying friends sit. It had been a really long time since I bothered her, so I thought that maybe I should bother her to stay in practice. The only problem was Andrea had this sad look on her face. She looked so worried, I didn't want to shoot a straw wrapper at her or even hit her on the head with an empty milk carton. Andrea saw me looking, and she came over to our table with her annoying friend, Emily. I'm worried about Mr. Klutz, she said. What about him? I asked. I think he's depressed, Andrea said. I think he's jealous of Miss Lazar. What? Ryan said. You're crazy. Did you see the look on his face when Miss Lazar unclogged the toilet? Andrea asked, and when she climbed up to the roof, did you ever see how he looks when we all cheer for Miss Lazar? He does look kind of sad, I agreed. My mother is a psychologist, Andrea said. She told me all about this stuff. I think Mr. Klutz is depressed because the principal is supposed to rule the school, but everybody acts like Miss Lazar is the big hero all the time. It's almost like Miss Lazar is the real principal. You're right said Michael. We've got to do something, said Emily. We thought and thought and thought about what we could do to cheer up Mr. Klutz. Andrea said we should do something that would make Mr. Klutz feel like a hero for a change. Ryan said we should start an emergency. Michael remembered that Miss Lazar has the day off every Wednesday, and today was Wednesday. If we started an emergency, Mr. Klutz would have to be the hero. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's starting emergencies. So I tried to think of an emergency I could start. That's when I got the greatest idea in the history of the world. Mr. Klutz said that he used to be a rock climber, right? I asked. And when Miss Lazar climbed up the school, he said it was simple rock climbing. Well, let's throw something up on the roof of the school. Then we can ask Mr. Klutz to get it. That's a dumb idea, said Michael. That's the dumbest idea in the history of the world, said Ryan. AJ, you're a genius, said Andrea. Ooh, Ryan said, AG and Andrea are in love. When are you going to get married? asked Michael. Shut up, I said. A new hero. Luckily, it was a nice day, so we had outside recess. We all went out to the playground. Andrea said we could throw her lunchbox up on the roof of the school. I'm the best thrower, so I got the job of throwing Andrea's lunchbox up on the roof. The first couple of tries, I didn't reach the roof, and the lunchbox almost hit a window on the second floor. It's hard to throw a lunchbox. But finally, on the third try, I got the lunchbox up on the roof. Next, we had to get Mr. Klutz. We rushed into the school and went down the hall to his office. Mr. Klutz's office is really cool. He has a big snowboarding poster on the wall and a foosball table in the corner. When we came in, he was wearing his boxing shorts and punching his punching bag. Mr. Klutz is really good at sports. We decided that Andrea should do the talking because she takes acting lessons after school, and it was her lunchbox that was up on the roof. Mr. Klutz, she said, we have an emergency. AJ threw my lunchbox up on the roof. My lunch was in it. If I don't eat my lunch, I'll starve and die. We need your help. Andrea is a really good actress. She should be in movies. I'm so hungry, added Andrea, rubbing her tummy. Why didn't you throw why did you throw Andrea's lunchbox up on the roof, AJ? asked Mr. Klutz. I didn't think Mr. Klutz was going to ask that. He looked at me, I looked at Andrea. Why didn't she have to go and tell Mr. Klutz I was the one who threw her lunchbox on the roof? Andrea looked at me too. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to do. I had to think fast. My invisible friend told me to do it, I said. Your invisible friend? asked Mr. Klutz. 
Hey, you never told us you had an invisible friend, AJ, said Michael. Yeah, what's your invisible friend's name, asked Ryan. Actually, I wasn't completely lying. I used to have an invisible friend, but me and my invisible friend got into an argument one day, and after that we weren't friends anymore. I just used him to blame stuff on when I made mistakes. It doesn't matter what the invisible friend's name is, said Andrea. Mr. Klutz, we need you to climb up on the roof and get my lunchbox. Please, please, please. At first, Mr. Klutz didn't want to do it. But I guess Andrea was such a good actress that he took off his boxing gloves and followed us to the playground. He looked up at the wall of the school. It doesn't look too difficult, Mr. Klutz said. I used to climb walls like this all the time in my younger days. I bet you can do it, I said. Mr. Klutz dug his toe into a crack between the two bricks and started pulling himself up the wall. Look, one of the kids is playing in the playground shut it, shouted. Mr. Klutz is climbing the school. All the kids at recess came over to watch. Mr. Klutz was a fast climber. He was already halfway up to the roof. It's working like a charm, Andrea whispered. Mr. Klutz will be the hero. Mr. Klutz got all the way up to the top and climbed on the roof. He found Andrea's lunchbox and tossed it down. Hooray! We all started shouting. Hooray for Mr. Klutz! Hip hip hooray! He's our hero! Mr. Klutz turned around and started lowering himself from the roof. He got a few feet down and then suddenly he stopped. What's the matter, Mr. Klutz? Somebody shouted. I, I, I'm stuck! He yelled. Dun dun dun. You have to tune in next time to see how Mr. Klutz gets down from the roof. I'll see you next time.